Hi guys, Kirsty here from Sister Books. So, week three of the Medieval Avon. I'm loving it. It is 25 to 12 on Sunday the 17th. So, we are over halfway. I was hoping to read a book a week, but I'm still on page 254 of City of Fallen Angels. Now, I'm loving it. I was just picking it up and I thought, you know what, I'll do my intro. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to finish this either today, tomorrow or Tuesday and hoping I can finish City of Lost Souls by the end of that week. Then I would have read three books in three weeks which is my main goal but oh my god guys I got a, I bought a book a week ago and it came on Monday or Tuesday it's called I can't remember what it's called but oh well oh well I got a book it's fine I, I, I was thinking I might pick it up for the if I do manage to read all four of these I know that there's a prompt um a tall hardback i can't remember what it's for but i, I it does fit that prompt as it's taller than some of my others okay so that's me i've got oh i can't reach got a couple of harry bows left over so i'm gonna just pick on no i don't think i want any of them until after dinner but i'm gonna Weed, 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 weed. Uh, I just finished the people and angels. What was that ending? Oh my god, it is exactly 11 to 3. What was that ending? I wish I could tell you about it. Um, I know a lot of people have read it, so that's good. But I'm excited for the next one. I'm going to go do my good reads spreadsheet stuff then I'm gonna put this on my shelf and grab my next one and start that straight away so I'm hoping it picks up straight where it left off it's it is five past three and I've just finished Lost Souls once again I can't breathe I've been shouting I'm now gonna do my stuff and pick up Heavenly Fire and once that's done, that'd be this series finished. Yay. Um, this was for, I believe, something pointy as there's an arrow on it. So that gives me a sword. So now I have a sword, a pet coat, and a dress. I have... So, I'm happy with that. Awesome. I'm going to go pick up Heavenly Fire. I can't wait. Hi guys, I know I'm not updated in a while, but it is the 25th of May at quarter past one, and I've still not finished Heavenly Fire. I'm on page 301. No, 319. Wait. One second, I'll find out. 319, yes. Out of 640, so I'm basically halfway. And this Arudathon ends in... I don't include today. Four days? Yeah, because there's only 30 days. No, five days, because it's May. It was April for a split second. Um, so yeah. So, what I'm going to do, it's quarter past one. I'm going to do sort of like a 12 hour readathon thing. Um, because I've not read, I didn't, I've only read like a chapter and a half this weekend. Um, so what I'm going to do for the next 12 hours basically, or, or until I fall asleep, I'm going to just read this. I should turn off my TV to do that, but I'm not going to because it's my TV. So yeah, um, 
I'm hoping to finish this today or tomorrow. Technically, if we were still at school and college and all that, it'll be half term. So, I'm going to try and stick to reading this week and prioritise it over everything else. And if I finish this, I can either finish Heartless from last month, which doesn't put any prompts, or I can pick the other another book if I was going to choose another I think I'd go for the astonishing color of after because I've got that as my high expectations which is I believe a shield which would go lovely with my sword Um, this I believe gives me a cat a kitty cat so I'm definitely gonna get this done and get my kitty cat Any, okay so I've seen that Reagan's got a uh, 24 hour read and vlog up so I'm going to put that on while I read for half an hour and then I might go make a cup of teas but it's getting a little hot today so I've got my fan on, I'm going to have to turn that off soon I finished it so finally at precisely 12 to 8 Tuesday the 26th of May after five months, I believe, four or five months, I have finished the Mortal Instruments series. I loved it. It's very rare when I like a second or more books in a series better than the first one. But number one to four, I've rated four out of five stars. Five, I rated five. And this has got to be a five as well as... It's never happened before where I liked a sequel more than the original. But this series just kept getting better and better, which I you don't normally see. I think the only other series that's happened like that is probably a series of unfortunate events, and I don't think I ever put that on Goodreads. So, I'm going to make some cup of teas and pick another book. I'm not sure what I'm going to read, so I'm going to be sitting in front of my bookshelves for the next ten minutes. Hmm. 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 Like a Minecraft villager. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. And when I choose one, I'll tell you. I, I feel tempted to start the Infernal Devices. But I know I want to wait a little while before I do read them. So, so Fangirl can actually fit into one of the prompts. Could be for a bow and arrow, which is romance, and of course, there's romance between Kath and Levi, as well as, as well as like Ren and oh god, what's Ren's boyfriend name? Can't remember. It's been a year since I've read this, <laughs> but yeah. So uh, that's probably going to be finished tomorrow anyway. But yeah, so that can be for a romance or a bow and arrow. Awesome. I'm, I'm excited to get a bow and arrow. I've always wanted to learn had those little kitty toy ones before so fun it's just before 10 to 3 and i finished get fangirl so this gives me my bow and arrow um now i'm gonna update all my stuff go to my bookshelf and pick out another book we still have the rest of today tomorrow saturday and sunday so three and a half days technically before the readathon one ends. I can read another book in that, definitely. I could have finished this quicker, I just didn't pick it up. But yeah, I loved it. Loved it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I love how Kath is so obsessed with Sam and Raz and, and carry on, just like how I'm obsessed with this book. Hi guys, so the medieval thon is now over. It is the 1st of June. So I'm now going to be taking part in the myth take, make your myth take readathon, but so do a little wrap up for the month. So if I can find pictures, I'll put them here. If not, then oh well. So this month I've read five different books, which puts me at the status of a princess. I've read City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire and Fangirl. 
um, and by reading these five books, um, with I'm able to wear that green outfit because oh what was it? I think it was Fallen Angels that had that. Um, my weapon of choice is a sword and a bow and arrow. Uh, the sword was on one of the Cassandra Clares and then bow and arrow was from Fangirl between Kappa and Levi. It is Levi, is it? I I've forgotten already. Levi. <laughs> Um, and pet wise, I have a goat as well as a cat. Now, I know last time I updated you, I had just finished Fangirl. Now, I did pick up another book, I'm currently on page 127 from it. And this book would have gotten me a chicken because I picked up The Shining. Um, now, make your move take a thong. It's what I'm going to say. Um, I've only chosen four books for that. And I've been, on average, reading about five books a month. So I'm going to hopefully finish this within the next two, three days. Um, and then read, start my other things. Or I might pick, but I know my first book for the Make Your Move Take is a David Walliam. So I might pick that up, read that, as his books are quite easy. And then continue with The Shining. But, yep, so that's that. I'm happy with that. Um, I got to Princess. I was, at the beginning, I was thinking I wouldn't get past, like, a squire. Um, but, yay, I'm thankful that I have. I feel like I'm reading a lot more now with all this going on. And te technically, college is almost finished. So once that's finished, finished, finally finished, like, properly. No more college. And, yeah. I'll have time to read all day, every day, besides from when I'm working. Which, which actually, today is June the 1st. Ten weeks ago yesterday was my last day at work. And I was only on Saturday, just for five minutes, that I was bored. Like, it took me ten weeks of lockdown to be bored. I wasn't in a reading mood, I wasn't in the mood to do anything. But after five minutes I just sat down, put on the Books and Bound podcast which I started listening to a few weeks ago. And I did some of my diamond art. So yes, I'm happy. I'm currently watching YouTube. It's been really nice actually recently in the past week in my area. Which is shocking. Um, but I might go outside, I might not. But anyway, that's me. Hopefully, hope you've had fun. And I don't know what I'm doing for this month. But hopefully I can get a video of Jessin. But other than that, I will see you all next time. Bye.